Hello everyone, this is Amritpal Singh. Welcome to the next video of our programming language. In this video, I'll be talking about list. Lists are nothing but data structures which can contain data of different types, right? And in this video, I'll be talking about these points which you can see in front of you. So let's get started. Let's see how we can create a list using a list function. It's quite simple. Uh, you can simply define one variable name and then you can call the list function in which you can have some data available. First of all, I'll be creating a list of uh, of uh, similar elements, right? I'll be putting everything as a string, right? So I'm just putting these three stuff here, maybe uh, PQR, okay? So A, it means I got my list created, right? This is how we can create a list of a homogeneous elements. In the same way, we can have a list of a heterogeneous elements as well, in which I can have maybe a I can have true, okay, so the boolean value, and then I can have some uh, double value available as well, maybe 23.6. So you can see now if I call A1, I'll be getting the list created. It means it can contain both homogeneous or heterogeneous elements, right? This is how we can create a list. Next is how we can uh, make use of named list. Named list means if you can remember in the vectors video, I've also have used the names function. In the same way, I can have a names function available as well in the case of list. Let's get, let's see how we can create a, uh, how we can make use of a names stuff. So you can see I'm already have this A1 avail a available, right? So what I can use, I can use name, okay, N-A-M-E-S, all right, names of uh, A. I can give some name here, uh, maybe I can give here, uh, maybe with the help of combine function, I can give maybe name and this is uh, some bool value and third is nothing but a, let's suppose double, okay. So if I call now A, you can see now the names has been assigned name, bool and double. And the advantage of having this names, I can now make use of a dollar sign to select anything. Uh, what I what I mean, if I say a dollar name, okay, so it'll Amrit will be returned. This is the advantage of having names, okay. Next is how we can uh, combine the two lists together. Very simple. Let's suppose we have now a and a one available, a, and then I got this a one available. I can now simply uh, combine using this uh, simple formula. I can use uh, list, I can use now A3, A3 equal to list of the both the A comma A1, okay. So in this case, the list can be, uh, means list can be combined, right. This is how we can do it. Next, in, next is how we can access the uh, elements in the R of the list, right. Very simple, we have A1 available. How to access? Simple, we can use now A1. Okay, in a bracket, you can specify one. One means it's the index number. Okay, the index of list are from one, right? In the same way, I can have two and three and so on, right? Next is how we can modify element, very simple. Now this A1 is available with me, right? It's a list. I want to modify the name Amrit. So what I can do, I can simply use A, okay, one, and I can assign some different name, all right? That's it. So in this case, I'm giving here UBD, okay, and boxing big data. So now uh, if I can now go with A1, you can see UBD is coming instead of Amrit. Next is how we can add the elements to a list. Very simple, we have a append function available. Simple use append, okay, a, this one append and call the list name. Let's suppose A1, I want to add another thing also. It's YT means YouTube, okay, to this. So you can see YT got added at the fourth location. This is how we can add the elements. Next is how we can remove the elements from a list in R. Very simple, simply use negation operator. Let's suppose I'm having this A1 available. I want to negate something. Let's suppose minus three. So you can see it here, uh, except that, okay, other things will be returned, right? This is how we can do it. Minus three means uh, the third element should be removed. Okay, so UBD true is returned here, right? So this is the meaning, right? This is how we can do it. Next is how we can uh, get the length of a list using simple length function. So length of uh, A1, okay, it is returning three. This is how we can uh, return the length of the uh, R list. Next is uh, how we can check if the element exists in the R list or not. We have an in operator available, quite simple. Let's suppose I want to search whether UBD is available in the list or not. So simply use UBD and then we can use in operator. So percentage 
in percentage okay this one uh, percentage right now check out in the a1 so it will return true if the elements are available if if let's suppose i'm now searching uh, amrit amrit is not available so it should return false this is how we can check out the things in the list it will be turning false right so this is all we are having for the list today i hope you must have understood all the uh, simple operations that we can perform on list rest of the content in the i'll be covering in a new video thanks for watching guys see you in next video